Hi everyone, Ali here. Welcome to our Ignite short for today. If you watched last week, you might remember that over the summer we are going to be talking about lots of different characters from the Bible, from all different parts of God's big story. And we are collecting our own set of Bible top drops and you might have started making your own at home. So these are ours from last week. Pete made his one of Peter there, being called by Jesus. And I made one of another disciple, Matthew. So that's the start of our deck. Now we've only got two so far. You might have made more of the disciples. But today we are going to have a story about some other people that Jesus spent time with. So take a look at this. God's story, Mary and Martha. So part of God's story is about Mary and Martha. And it goes like this. Mary and Martha were sisters. We don't know a whole lot about them, but we do know they lived in Martha's house in a town called Bethany. Mary and Martha were really good friends with Jesus. So when they invited friends over to hang out, sometimes Jesus came over. Kids, what would you do if Jesus was coming to your house? Well, one time, Jesus came over for dinner at Mary and Martha's. When he arrived, the sisters got everything ready. Or rather, Martha got everything ready. Mary wasn't helping at all. She just sat at the feet of Jesus, listening to him talk. When Martha saw Mary sitting there, she was furious. She wanted everything to be perfect for Jesus, and she thought that Mary should help. Eventually, Martha got so mad that she stomped over to where Mary was sitting. She didn't even talk to Mary. Instead, she said, Jesus, my sister has left me to do the work by myself. Don't you care? Tell her to help me. When Jesus heard Martha, he wasn't mad. He just wanted to be with her. He said, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Kids, that one thing is Jesus. See, Jesus didn't mind that Martha was making dinner. That's a nice thing to do. The problem was Martha didn't realize how special it was to be spending time with Jesus. She was too focused on making dinner. Imagine planning a big party for all your friends, but you got so caught up in getting ready, you didn't even get to have fun with them, which was the whole reason you had them over. That's kind of like what happened to Martha. Anyway, as for Mary, she wasn't being lazy. She just cared about Jesus more than anything else. Maybe more than she cared about what Martha thought of her, and maybe definitely more than making a perfect dinner for her friends. Of course, Jesus likes it when we help our sisters, or our friends, or our moms, or our dads, or our brothers, or our cousins, or anyone else who needs it. But he told us that the most important thing we can do is love him and God with all our hearts. And the second most important thing we can do is love others. You can read about it in Matthew 22, 36, in the Bible. Martha wasn't loving God or Mary, so Jesus encouraged her to act like her sister. Mary had a chance to sit at Jesus' feet, and she did. And that's the story of Mary and Martha. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Mary and Martha were sisters. They lived together. They were friends with Jesus. They invited Jesus over. Martha worked on dinner. Mary sat with Jesus. Martha got mad. Martha told Jesus she was mad. Jesus said Martha only needs one thing, him. Loving Jesus is the most important thing we can do. And that's a part of God's story. So in that story, we've got Mary and Martha, two people who loved Jesus and who Jesus loved. But in the story, Mary knew how important it was to stop sometimes and to spend time with Jesus, not just to be busy all the time, but to spend time with the people who are important to us. And sometimes for us, there are times when it's good to be busy and it's good to do lots of things and lots of jobs and be busy. But there's other times when it's really important that we stop and we spend time with people around us, people who are important to us, and we spend time with Jesus too. Now we are gonna play a game. This game is called Grandmother's Footsteps. And in this game, there are times where you have to be busy and you have to rush and try and get close to the person who's on, but there are times you have to stop and be still. Have a look at this. Go 
You healed the sick, you loved the poor You took two fish and made a thousand more And that's why I adore you You're always kind, but sometimes tough But you always know what's best for us And that's why I adore you We want to be more like you each day Like 